Here's a ring. Be nice if it was gold. Welcome in. We're back with another one of the jars from the Gold Mine Antique Store. We're still trying to hit some gold here. We did it once. If you wonder why I keep trying to spend my money, waste my money, throw away my money on jars, take a look at that video. I'll link it below. It was truly a gold mine jar and it was from this same store where I got these last two. I actually got kind of weary of not finding any matches and I'm finding the matches in the other jars. So let's get to it. Let's put it on a cloth so all the broken necklaces or strands of beads and we'll see what we can find. I already see a match to one of the better earrings that I really liked. I think it was West Germany and then this one was also either a button or something that was turned into an earring. Oh, I like that earring. That is cute. What is this? Gitano quartz. This is a pretty watch. Strap came off. We have a little pin here. A praying hands. Thought it was a service. Pretty. I think I have the match to this right here. <laughs> Believe it or not. They're Avon. And they're actually earrings. I've had this on my desk forever. That is so funny. <laughs> I'm not kidding, and one's more faded than the other. Oh my goodness gracious. My goodness, now I am looking through all of these. Okay, we matched this one up too. I'm gonna have to go look in my crafter lot and dig these out, because I had put them in a crafter lot, and these are actually pretty. But I'm gonna start building some crafter lots to give away and to sell. And this is a broken piece here, obviously a sweater clip. We got a lot of stars. I think this goes on that brooch. Yeah, I'll bet this goes at the bottom. Remember I said it looked like it had a chain and then something dangling and I'll bet this was it. What do you think? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not, but it wouldn't look bad. <laughs> that was all in the other jars that we've opened so far. And it looks like a lot of this is acrylic. This is a genuine pearl, it looks like. Two five back, find vintage earrings that are missing their nine two five backs. So it's nice to be able to replace that. Then I hope I find the other one too. That'd be nice to have a pair of genuine pearl earrings. Here's a real pearl too. And that's just a piece of a bracelet or something. Yeah, okay more of this. I'm glad I found the match to some of these things. Okay, we found the other earring. I did have this earring, but it was missing some pieces on the bracelet, so I decided to fix the bracelet with one of the pieces, but it's good to have this. And this is a BSK. That's a good brand. Good vintage brand, collectible. Here's a ring, be nice if it was gold. And it looks like a band of, it's pretty, it actually fits. Take a better look at it, it's highly reflective. Can't hardly see it because of the, hardly see it, it looks like gold tone because of the high polish inside. I don't see anything, but let me look with my loop. No, you can tell that it's gold tone. It's chipped and such. It's gorgeous. Boy, I had my heart palpitating there for a minute. Woo! Pretty ring, though. Very nice. Big on me, though. So that is nice. Ooh, a piece of something here on a chain. That looks like a genuine stone there. That is also a BSK. Oh my goodness. This is a charm bracelet. This is awesome. This is worth the $20 of the jar. I also found a chunky bracelet in the last one. Beautiful. Not sure what the stone is. Could be jade. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, jade was considered, uh, was used very often in costume jewelry. It was not, and still is not considered a precious stone. It's a semi-precious stone. But um, definitely people in the 60s and 50s considered jade and amber costume jewelry. Let me know what you think about this stone. It's fantastic. And there is the mark there, BSK. It's one of those single chunky charm bracelets. Love it. 
Love it. The, even the bracelet is pretty. Very nice and textured. Very pretty. Yeah, that is really nice. And it fits. There we go. How's that? These are so cute. I love them. They're very popular, these single charm charm bracelets. My sister wears one with a gold coin. I just love them. I think they're beautiful. But that's a nice stone. Look at it. It's really pretty. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. Well, that was definitely a score. Here's a little vintage watch. Who makes this one? Hellsboro. It's missing the stem. These are often gold, though, so be, be sure you look thoroughly on the back over here by the stems or by the findings. If they're stamped, they're usually stamped around there. Often the bracelet may not be precious metal or often the watch may not be and the band is so just double check everything I'll take a better look but that is where you want to look on a vintage watch beautiful stainless steel back is all it says SA is what it says JB JB it's a Hells Bros Germany the watch is German made the band is USA these are so pretty. Honestly, if I, uh, I wear them and I can't even read them, they're so tiny. But they are really pretty. And this is small. Beautiful band. It's tight. Very nice. I do have a good collection of those vintage watches. I think they're amazing. Here is a glass pendant. Starfish there. Sea star. We did find the match to this very heavy shell. And here is a beautiful single earring. These are earrings. Or one earring. No, there's two. Okay, we have a matching set of gold. Dichroic glass earrings. Very pretty. So looks like we have some copper earrings here. No, just one. Oh, here it is. Wow, these are interesting. These are genuine copper. Copper artisan, it looks like. All the beads are in there. <gasps> These are cool. These are very cool. They look very atomic, don't they? Nice to have a match on those, too. And um, is this the sun and the moon? Yeah, I think it's the sun and the moon there. This is ceramic more earrings single earrings we had this one matched as well this is from the other jar that one's not matched I'll take the ones that match out of here A little necklace jewelry piece we had this one matched too and I think I saved this one because I like the rhinestones on that this one. I was so happy that you see this one because it is from the other jar as well. And I did save this one. I love it. I think it looks like coral, the color anyway. They are acrylic. Beautiful. Or of these uh, rhinestones, which are so pretty. All of this will go into my crafter lot. If you ever see anything in a video that you are interested in, please email me. I don't give quotes or anything like that of prices in the chat. But all the information is always in my description box. I do auctions on Facebook on Saturdays. I do auctions on Whatnot on Wednesdays. My Facebook is a private group, but it is a free group. So please check the information. I'll see you on the next video. I really appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.